Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Ta of Repro Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom baluster post family and place it inside a Revit project to be used within a railing. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Revit 2017. I'll click New under Families in the Recent Files window, and we'll pick Baluster Post. We'll click Open, and you'll pre be presented with an elevation view that describes the baluster height, the reference level, and a couple of reference planes. If I head over to the Floor Plan view and type in ZA for Zoom All, you'll see the reference planes that denote the insertion point because define origins is checked. Where two reference planes have define origins is checked, that's the insertion point. Instead of going through the process of building from scratch with Boolean operations a form for your uh, baluster post, we're going to play a little trick. We're going to use the component command to load in a component. What we're going to do is head over to lighting. And let's pick this street light antique one. I'm going to click open and then I'm going to place it right there. If I look at this post, balance to post, if you will, in 3D, it's really going to represent a light fixture. Why did I do this? Because when I go to create a new Revit project, there may be a situation or design where, and I'll just use model line just for the sake of. Um, seeing what we're talking about. Let's just pretend that this is a curve on a road or a piece of grass or something like that. And if I create model line and I use pick method, let's do a five foot offset. So now let's just pretend that this is the a street uh, sidewalk, something like that. <clears throat> and you want to place your street post lights along the center of this equally spaced. How do we do this? Well, if you use the railing command and sketch the path, pick the path, and we'll set this to 2.5 feet, it doesn't let you pick that line. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll back out of that, and we'll use the model line command again, and the pick method, and we'll do 2.5. Oops, 2.5 feet. And we'll place one right there. <clears throat> That'll just give us the context that we need to help us draw the railing properly. Now I'll go back and I'll say sketch the path. And I'll use this arc here and see if I can catch that line. If I can't catch that line, I have to be as close as I can. And unfortunately, if you could do so, if you could pick that line, that would be awesome. But you can't really pick it. So we're going to approximate that sketch. Now that you have that sketch created and you hit the green check mark to finish the creation of that handrail, let's go look at that handrail. Right now, it's a simple standard handrail. If I shade it, you can see it a little easier. If I go into the properties of that handrail and go under Edit under Baluster, I can actually put in a custom baluster family. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to swap back over to the custom family that we created by using Control Tab on your keyboard. And you can load this into the project. Now that it's loaded, you can select that railing again. Hit Edit Type. Go back to Baluster Placement and click Edit. And because you've already loaded it, you can click inside here and pick from it. Now, I didn't actually save it and give it a specific name. We're just going to use Family 4 for now. And scroll down, and you can do that and swap out the baluster family that's being used for the repetitive pattern and for the corner start and end posts. We hit Apply. We hit OK and OK. And now you're going to see it change. Now, obviously, 
the default spacing is set to four inches, so it's overlapping with each other. So let's go back to edit. Let's go back under edit and change this to say I need it to be 10 feet apart. Hit apply and hit OK. Now you can see that you've got that created. Now we also have the handrail to deal with. So what we'll do is we'll just tab into that top handrail, unpin it, and delete it. Now that it's gone, you can see that you've created a path of lights. So if I want to, because you may see some issues with how we created those three arcs end to end, we can go back to the handrail. And we can say, let's not even place any custom balusters for the start or the end or the corner. And hit Apply, and hit OK, and hit OK. Now it adjusts accordingly. So you can just take this, select it, type in CS for Create Similar, and then just start creating um, your path, if you will. hit the green check mark and it builds it for you. Um, just remember to tab into that particular handrail and delete it when you're done. So this is how you take and create a custom baluster post family where you're actually nesting an object and using it to create something as uh, simple as a path of lights along a sidewalk. Thank you very much for watching.